When Megan Turnus learned about little girls in Haiti with merely one dress, if any, of their own, she made it her mission to change things. It started out as a simple project to make 250 dresses. Knowing she couldn't make the number of dresses she needed on her own, she took her mission on the road, speaking to sewing clubs and quilting guilds. Now, 880 dresses later, her passion contagious. Seamstresses in seven states have joined the effort. Oh, I love some of these. Some of these are just so cute. She's getting ready to travel to Haiti herself in January to deliver these treasures. And she believes they are just that, treasures. See, it wasn't that long ago that this outgoing, compassionate, and ambitious teenager from Vinton was just eight years old, living with a few clothes of her own in an orphanage in Ukraine. I had a pair of shorts. I fought for them every day. Not everyone got one, though, so that's why you fight. Leo Wobiter is on the Haiti committee at her local parish. She experienced the poverty, <clears throat> you know, uh, close hand, up close, and... Uh, and now she's uh, helping others that are in that same situation down in Haiti. And her reach now expands beyond pillowcase dresses. Got to cut out all the patterns of interfacing in the fabric. With the permission of a school uniform company, she's also sewing uniforms for kids who can't go to school without them. Again, this is personal. And I wasn't allowed to go to school because of me being a girl and I had some... Um, disabilities that other kids didn't. Between the uniforms and dresses, Megan will be the force behind nearly 1,500 pieces of clothing. And she says this is just the beginning. She just, you know, really is an inspiration for a lot of, should be an inspiration for a lot of young folks.